What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Enjoy these videos, man. We you know you know we putting out all the bangers, man. Stay prepared up out here, man. These times is getting rough, man. We gotta stay prepared for these times, man. You never know what the fuck can happen. So much is happening at the same time. Everything is moving so fucking fast. You just gotta stay with your eyes open and see what the fuck going on. Come to the Black Hebrew Israelite, man. Let's get into this bitch. All right, boom. Today, tomorrow, and day, straight here outside crib, man. All right, gang. Now. We finna talk some real deal spiel. Kevin Porter Jr. Kevin Porter Jr. man and his girlfriend, um, his ex-girlfriend, man. Now, Kevin Porter Jr. has been had was arrested for uh basically assault on his um on on his ex-girlfriend. Now, his ex-girlfriend is a, supposedly a basketball player. She's a basketball player. Uh, she's a basketball player. Kyrie's Gondazrick. She she played professional WNBA. Now, all this shit started happening out of nowhere. They started dating back in February 2022. So that's wild. They've been on the game for only like a year and a half. Now, everything was so fucking weird and goofy. She lied. Saying, basically said that Ken Porter Jr. beat her up. And if y'all looked at my last video, I said, ain't no damn way this nigga would have beat her ass up. So many names surrounding the fucking Houston Rockets. Why would we pick that time or any time just to really beat her up? That made no damn sense. Now, if you know we've been looking at these these damn internet um dating uh, relationships, we all motherfucking know these hoes, y'all are liars, females. Get this through y'all thick ass pea brains. Y'all are liars, liars. Look at that fucking bitch from um where the fuck she was from Africa. Where the fuck? Tell she got hit in the face with a brick. And she wanted niggas to protect her. She ended up lying. She had peanut allergies. Females, y'all are liars. We can't take nothing y'all say serious. This is not the this is not the 1800s, the 19s, and whatever. We not finna put our life on the line for y'all niggas. No more. Y'all not finna get us killed for y'all. For y'all just to get a little bit of excitement and thrill. Then when we die, you can always have a nice little story. Oh yeah, you remember that nigga? Oh, who I used to date, yeah, he died. That shit crazy, yeah. I really, I really liked him. No, I don't want to be in your, I don't want to be in your, in your storybook of how that nigga, how, how, how nigga got killed trying to protect you. We don't want to be in y'all story. No, y'all liars. You know what I'm saying? That's half of the reason a, a lot of niggas don't be in relationships because females is always they put out these the two lies: sexual harassment and motherfucking abuse. And that's just how it is. Now she she took back she took back everything. She denied everything. He done got the miss from his team traded. They about to release this nigga. He lost the mega contract. Now all I can say is his fault because when you got a bitch like that on your on your team, you can't let her do that. So I mean, you got to pick these hoes like wisely. That's why a lot of niggas don't be in a relationship because these 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 girls are waiting for the niggas to to to, to fuck up to, so they can lie on these niggas. So we got the videos of what's going on, man. I feel I feel sad for Kevin Porter Jr. man. So we have the video. Hope y'all enjoy these videos and yeah.
what ESPN had reported. Houston Rockets guard Kevin Porter Jr. was arrested and charged with assault and strangulation after allegedly assaulting his girlfriend at a New York hotel on Monday morning. That's according to a New York City police spokesperson. And at Porter's arraignment today, prosecutors, they said the attack left a woman with a fractured neck vertebrae. So, Woj, how are the NBA and how is the Houston Rockets approaching this? Yeah, the league's launched an investigation, Malika, and they'll handle it in the near term. I think the Houston Rockets, and just by the bylaws, you know, they can't suspend him. They can't waive him while this investigation's going on. But Adam Silver could put Kevin Porter Jr. on administrative leave. Uh, but certainly, I think his uh, future in Houston is very much in jeopardy. I think his future in the NBA, uh, given uh, Kevin Porter Jr.'s uh, 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 you know, going back a number of years to the USC, the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Houston Rockets, um, problems have followed him. And there have been teams, certainly uh, Cleveland drafted him late in the first round uh, and essentially gave up on him. And you look at his contract in Houston. Uh, it was a very team friendly deal, non guaranteed money after the first year. They would be on the hook for about 16, almost 17 million dollars if the Rockets were to waive him once he's either uh, convicted or the league comes down with a penalty. Uh, but there's no question Kevin Porter Jr.'s future, not just with the Rockets, but in the NBA, uh, I think is very much in peril. These are extremely serious allegations. And I would like to show you guys the video footage of Kevin Porter Jr. that was put out and released by the news. Our NBA player Kevin Porter Jr. was arrested at a Manhattan hotel for domestic assault, allegedly. Police say the Houston Rockets guard assaulted his girlfriend at the Millennium Hotel overnight. News Force Mark Santilla live on the east side with what we know about this alleged attack, Mark. And Natalie, police were called to the hotel this morning around 6.40 for a dispute. Houston Rockets guard Kevin Porter Jr. walked out of the 17th precinct to an awaiting police car. Porter Jr. is facing assault and strangulation charges for an alleged attack inside the Millennium Hotel. Multiple law enforcement sources with knowledge of the case say Porter Jr. returned to the hotel this morning. His girlfriend was asleep inside their hotel room. Law enforcement sources say Porter Jr. entered the room. Minutes later, those same sources say his girlfriend was running through the hotel hallway screaming for help. Police arrested Porter Jr. His girlfriend was taken to the hospital with multiple injuries, including bruises on her face. Porter Jr. said nothing as he left the 17th precinct late this afternoon. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That really does help this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Let's check out what Stephen A. Smith had to say. Here's the video. Porter Jr. punched her in the face repeatedly with a closed fist, which caused the cut above her right eye, as well as bruising and pain to her face. Ladies and gentlemen, he should be in jail. He should not only be in jail, Tillman Fertitta, Ime Udoka, the new coach, the Fertitta family. Um, it should be announced that he's no longer a member of the Houston Rockets, effective immediately. And the NBA, the NBA should adopt the NFL's rule as it pertains to literally prohibiting you from participating wearing an NBA uniform, being inside an NBA arena, playing on an NBA basketball court until investigation, the investigation is complete. You can't do, you can't even be accused of doing what the hell this man has been accused of. Put that back up on the screen right now. I want everybody to see what this man has been accused of. Porter Jr. did not stop until Gondrasic ran out into the hallway covered in blood. This is the year 2023. This ain't Ray Rice in 2014, 2015, where you had to see a video before you realized the severity of it. If the district attorney is talking about he didn't stop until she was covered in blood and she ran out into the hallway and all of this other stuff and they have him on that kind of evidence. We got a problem. Look at her beautiful self. Look, look at her beautiful self. Now I'm talking to you as a father of two daughters. I'm talking to you as a father of two daughters. See, if my daughters are listening to this, they know what daddy's about to say. 
It's not a popular thing to say. But law enforcement is going to be necessary for anybody that puts their hands on my daughter. I promise you that. See, you got to be a real punk to do what is alleged Porter Jr. has done here. You got to be a real, real punk because obviously she's in no position. She's not in much of a position anyway to defend herself against the likes of him. He has besmirched the name of the Houston Rockets. He has besmirched the NBA brand. He has sullied his own damn name. He will forever be synonymous if this is true. He will forever be synonymous with physically abusing women. Ime Udoka, Tillman Fertitta, he got to go. Adam Silver, commissioner of NBA, he, 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 he can't be allowed to play with the Houston Rockets. Short for Houston Rockets training camp next month. Get your own commissioner's exemplars like the National Football League. You ain't, got to, you, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. You can't be on an NBA roster with these charges leveled against you with those details being provided to the public. It cannot happen. He was supposedly upset because she locked the hotel room door. She was afraid he came. She was upset he came home late and locked him out of their hotel room or whatever the case may be. Yo, bro, break up with her. Leave. Let her take a commercial flight home or something. You do not hit a woman. You just don't do it. So I guess Kaiser Gondra's sick and those NBA checks is about to be clearing her bank account. Pretty heavy, man, because she just denied every single thing about this Kevin Porter Jr. situation. Now, remember, her sister came out and she was going crazy on Kevin Porter Jr. So this story doesn't add up, right? Because we had all those reports come out about a month ago about Kevin Porter Jr. fracturing her neck, breaking her vertebrae, Allegedly, it was reported that he was chasing her out of her hotel from constantly beating her in the room. He broke inside the hotel room because he was locked out. That's what Stephen A. Smith even reported. I'll have a little bit of that in today's video. All of this stuff was reported about Kevin Porter Jr. As a matter of fact, his future with the NBA was pretty much finished. You have Malika Andrews and, of course, other people reported on it as well. I wonder if Malika Andrews is going to report about Kaiser Gondersick denying all of these claims let's see how that works out and i would like to see stephen a smith report on this as well because he went crazy on kevin porter jr if the story was true so now she's denying these claims that is a true story right here stephen a smith to keep that same energy but we'll see about that right but in today's video i just want to give you guys an update and how kaiser gondersick is denying all the claims and as you can see right here in the article it says right here, it says former WNBA player Kaiser Gondersick, 26 at the record straight day at the Manhattan prosecutors dropped one of the charges against Porter, admitting the pro baller didn't break his then girlfriend's neck in September 11 Midtown Hotel beatdown. Kaiser Gondersick is quoted right here saying my injuries don't support any of those claims. Gondersick said in an exclusive interview, adding that the Manhattan District Attorney's Office and cops were to blame for the inaccuracies. He didn't hit me. He never balled his fist up and hit me, Gondersick insisted. And he definitely didn't punch me in the face numerous times. That's a lie. I don't have any injuries to support that. Gondersick, who also shot down claims Porter had a history of abusing her, confirmed she is no longer dating the hoop star, noting she hasn't been in contact with him since his arrest because the protective order was only lifted Monday. Porter 23 was slapped with a slew of lawsuit charges last month after prosecutors said he left Gondersick with a fractured vertebrae in the wake of the alleged attack at the four-star Millennium Hilton New York Hotel. Okay, so that's the update report. A lot of people are saying that Kevin Porter Jr. is paying her off, and that's the reason why she's denying these claims now. Like I was saying, man, remember what Kaiser Gondersick's sister said? This is what she had to say right here. So as we can see right here, this is a tweet reported by Clutch Points. They got the screenshot, and she said, Kevin Porter Jr., if you think you're going to touch my sister and not get touched, count your days. Better hope and pray you'll be able to ever walk again, let alone dribble. 
You may have gotten away with this in the past because your mama ain't beat you. But we spank little punks painting nail sissy like you every day. Don't show up to that crib. We going to do it to you, little bitch. So that was what the sister had to say. So clearly the sister is saying that there's a history there, which Kaiser Gondersick just denied by saying that he has never been beaten on her. And then, of course, the initial report about him fracturing her vertebrae and putting his hands on her. The sister clearly said that he put his hands on her, right? And clearly the sister is saying that happened because she said, if you think you're going to touch my sister and not get touched, count your fucking days. Somebody's lying to us. Stephen A. Smith, Malika Andrews, all of these big major outlets that put their time and energy and their effort to report on this to hurt Kevin Porter's Jr. image. Hopefully they keep that same energy with Kaiser Gondersick. But like I'm saying, man, that's all I'm doing. I'm just calling out ESPN and Malika Andrews to report on this. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear y'all thoughts on this as well. Do y'all think? Warning. This story is dark and graphic. Not so long ago, Kevin Porter Jr. was getting his life together. He was drafted by the Cavs and traded to the Rockets. Somehow, he fell into the aftermath of James Harden and landed a miraculous opportunity, becoming the franchise's new point guard. In his words, the Rockets saved his life. Last year, at just 23 years old, KPJ signed a four-year extension worth up to $82.5 million with a guaranteed $15 million, but then ruined his life forever. Former WNBA player Kisri Gondrezic was the girlfriend of Kevin Porter Jr. She revealed to police that Porter had punched her until her eye lacerated, choked her until her vertebrae was fractured, and didn't stop the assault until she escaped covered in blood. Porter also rammed his car into Gondrezic's car in a prior incident. He pleaded not guilty, but was charged with felony assault and strangulation. He was released on $75,000 cash bail and will return to court for trial on October 16th, two weeks before the NBA season. This is one of the worst domestic violence cases involving an athlete in recent memory. It's hard to imagine the NBA not taking severe action, especially after all the criticism they received for the Miles Bridges incident last year. Athletes have been linked to domestic violence for decades, and Kevin Porter Jr. is the latest to ruin his dream with inhumane choices. Allegations here are horrific, um, no question about it. Um, but I don't know anything more, of course, about the actual facts other than reading those allegations. Um, we have a domestic violence policy that was collectively bargained with the Players Association. Again, when I say bargained, I mean there was not, not a contentious issue. They certainly um, feel as strongly as we do about the issue. Every case, though, also um, depends on its unique facts. I think here, when we're not in season, there's a little bit more of an opportunity to absorb what's happening before we act. I think if it were a case where we were in the middle of a season, we might be compelled to do something faster. And so while ultimately we're required to be deferential to law enforcement when there's an investigation, and clearly there's an investigation, now I think this has given us the opportunity because we're not in season or not training camps haven't opened yet to take a little bit of time here to better understand the situation. And I, you know, one thing I've learned over you know, many years of working on these cases is that to, that not to assume anything here and that, that to not just rely on headlines, but to try to truly understand what's happening here as a combination of what law enforcement has learned and direct interviews. And so this, this, we're still now in the process of gathering information. On the 411, the girlfriend of Kevin Porter Jr. is denying allegations against the former Houston Rocket. And this comes two days after police dropped one of his assault charges. KPJ is accused of beating Kaiser Gondrzic in a New York hotel last month. The former WNBA player posted a long statement on social media saying the assistant DA in the case falsified details and that Porter did not punch her five times or strangle her. 
Gondrzak claims investigators misrepresented her words and went by hearsay. While she did not write about what did happen, she stated, I'm not condoning any behavior, but merely protecting my truth and integrity. The Rockets traded Porter to the Oklahoma City Thunder soon after that incident. On YouTube with it, man. Hey, yo, what's good? It's your boy Dash from the Chicks Move channel. CS Gang, turn up in the comments section. If you a fan of pop culture and sports or anywhere in between, you're in the right place. So welcome back to the channel. Kevin Porter Jr. found himself in trouble when he was accused of assaulting his ex-girlfriend during their stay at a New York hotel. These allegations brought significant attention and concerns about his NBA career. His ex-girlfriend... Kirst Gondrzic, a former WNBA player, has come forward now to refute these allegations. She firmly states that the claims against Porter are untrue. Gondrzic also disputes accusations of strangulation and beating her, which other news reports have already claimed. His former girlfriend also clarified that injuries do not align with the accusations. She also pointed out the inaccuracies in the case, attributing them to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office and the police. She also denied any history of abuse by Porter, highlighting that she hasn't been in contact with him since his arrest due to a protective order recently being lifted. Porter is facing a series of assault charges, including an alleged incident that left his girlfriend with a fractured vertebrae during their stay at the Millennium Hilton New York Hotel. The twists in this case are far from over. As the legal process continues, these allegations and denial raises questions about Kevin Porter Jr future in the NBA. And the NBA world is in a buzz right now with these developments. The Thunder's trade, Porter's allegations, and his ex-girlfriend's denial have all cast a significant shadow on his career. Stay tuned for more updates on this evolving story. If you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to Yo, what's going on guys? And we are here in Kevin Porter Jr. and two future second round picks are being traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder, who the Thunder are waving Kevin Porter Jr. immediately. The Thunder are sending to the Rockets, Victor Oladipo and Jeremiah Robinson Earl. We were expecting Victor Oladipo to be cut as well as Jeremiah Robinson Earl, but now we are expecting that the Thunder are acquiring 2027 second round pick via Minnesota and a 2028 second round pick via Milwaukee. Kevin Porter Jr. is still facing assault charges based on an incident with his girlfriend. They had dropped some of the charges already due to, you know, the, the you know, than breaking the neck not being caused by him but okc is essentially buying two second round picks for kevin porter jr's guaranteed contract for only the first year and then the rest of the years are not guaranteed and yeah so there you go kevin porter jr is no longer in the nba and depending on how the criminal charges play out it will be hard to see him continue to have a career in the nba but yeah, so I want to hear your guys' thoughts right now. What do you guys think of this? Victor Oladipo, I assume the Rockets, because he blew out his knee, they're going to tear his patella tendon. Like, no, nah, the tear in his patella tendon is probably the reason why he's going to get bought out because he's not going to be back for another season. And then you'll have Mr. Jeremiah Robinson Earl actually get an opportunity to make the team which guys if they do like i do think jeremiah robinson earl is like not that bad of a of a guy to, to bring in in my opinion he's a small ball five who can also play power forward i really do think he, he's a villanova boy too so he's a guy that underrated in terms of what he offers and what he can bring for a team but for me i think this is crazy to see what's going on how our man Adrian Wojnarowski said it. They basically just bought two second round picks for Kevin Porter Jr.'s contract. And it's, I mean, again, guys, it, if you're a Kevin Porter Jr. fan, he's innocent until proven guilty. That's how the American court, you know, legal system works. Now, the court of public opinion will, will say otherwise. But again, I do want to hear your guys' opinions. What do you guys think of Kevin Porter Jr. in this whole situation? If do you think he'll get another you know opportunity in the NBA if he is proven innocent or and nothing becomes about this? I do think it's an unfortunate situation for a player who has so much talent and potentially is and he got paid. He got paid. 
So we just don't know where the next steps for his career are going to be. But one of the things is, is that Thunder will have to pay $16.9 million guaranteed left on Kevin Porter Jr.'s contract as they waive him. OKC gathered four second round picks in acquiring and moving all depots. Nine and a half million expiring deal this offseason. OKC has 15 first round picks and 22 second round picks over the next seven years, I believe they just said. So that's that's absolutely absurd. And yeah, I think, you know, when you look at this, it's a lot of people probably didn't expect it. And if you had told them earlier today that Kevin Porter Jr. would have been traded, they probably wouldn't have believed that this was the deal. And yeah, that's, that's going to be it for us today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. All right, back. Like I was saying, man, females are liars. Y'all want us to take y'all motherfucking serious. When this whole story was stupid, you were saying that Kevin, they were saying that Kevin Porter Jr., Went out to go to the club. He came back extra late. The girl locked the door because she was mad that he was out late. And she thought he was cheating on him. Which she probably was cheating. Let's be honest. She probably was cheating at that point. She probably was cheating. And she locked the door. And he couldn't get in. So he broke down the door and beat her up. And they was trying to say that she had a broken back. Fucked up eye. All that shit. Face bruised. Looking like a motherfucking. Just. Y'all ever see um, Martin Lawrence. When he got beat up, um, when he got beat up for um in that boxing match or the one when he was trying to get when he got arrested for the jail thing with the beat, it was the movie, and they were swinging at the beat, and they were trying to say that he got beat up by the policeman and he was and he and he went to jail and it was all like a big ass scene and shit. That like, yes, yeah. We can't take y'all hoes serious. You know what I'm saying? That's why we trying to tell these goofy ass niggas. These dumbass bitches on this fucking internet. Y'all so quick to try to bring a black man down. You know what I'm saying? Y'all so quick to bring a black man down. Anytime a little bit of anything circulated his name about dr dr drugs, uh, abuse, sexual assault, uh, anything, stealing anything. Y'all go at the black man neck. And it, it's the sad part is, it be your own people. Look at Stephen A. Smith, you goofy. The Mikhail, goofies. Y'all look like goofies, bro. Why speak on some shit that you don't even know nothing about, bro? Allegedly. So, Stephen A. Smith, you told, you told the commissioner to release that nigga. Might as well just release the nigga. Don't even know what the fuck going on. All of it was allegedly. Release the nigga. Take, take him out the NBA. And that's what, the, that's what the NBA commissioner did. I put in the thing. He talked about it. On uh, the NBA commissioner. Now, look at this goofy-ass shit. He, not, he didn't even do nothing. Now, Stephen A. Smith, like in the video, we want you to go extra hard as much as you were saying that if that was your daughter and whoop the whoop. Now, what if that was your damn son, nigga? Done got lied on. Huh? We ain't gonna, you, so you ain't gonna say nothing on that. So if it was your daughter, you want the, you want the whole book thrown at that nigga. You want that nigga under under the prison cell. But if it's if it's your son, you want that nigga. You, nothing happen. So the, the daughter just can get away with it. Like bro, y'all just play y'all switch and pick up, man. You can't like I said, man. You can't take these females serious. The 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 sister use a bozo. If the girl if the if now if the sister is denying everything that happened. And that he didn't break her neck. He didn't put his hands on it. He wasn't even beating on her. So what the fuck? So all y'all do is just making up goofy ass shit. Now, this is where the hood shit come in. I'm a hood screen nigga. I, 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 I'm a hood nigga. I know shit like this. I, there's so many fucking fool gazy ass females who be trying to set niggas up. That's what, the, that's what females do. They, they back doors. Females are back doors. You know what I'm saying? They set niggas up. That's what they do. Now, poor, Kevin Porter Jr. was expected to make by 82 million. She done fucked up his whole contract with this false claiming assault stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? They, now she's saying that the policeman lied and said that whatever, he, whatever she said, they made it 10 times worse that he didn't even do none of that. That they were just trying to, they just switched up her story. And now she's talking, oh yeah, my credibility, 
I can never live with myself. If it goes down like this, I gotta let the truth be known. Bitch, you should have been down, let it be known. Ain't no damn way. That's why, man, you can't take these females serious at all. Y'all like the they like the, the the boy who cried wolf, the girl who cried wolf. I think of the wolf down the street, and the whole time the wolf not even in that bitch, then, the, then the, when it really happened, nobody believe your goofy asses. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny, man, these girls, they want to be so fucking stuck up, you know what I'm saying? They so quick to be like, you see, you see, you see, you see, we get it, we give a nigga a chance, and look at him, he beating her down, how vicious of an animal he is, he throw that nigga in jail. All y'all, all y'all all um, commentators, especially the white people, white people can't wait to, for a black man to go to jail, they happy, but they happy when, when some shit happens to a black person, but they like, man, go to jail, he deserves to go to jail, he deserves to go to jail, he deserves to go to jail. Me, in my mind, I'm thinking the whole time, bro, y'all don't even know if she even making this shit up. Girls are goofy. Girls are goofy. Niggas, I, that's why I tell niggas these days who got a little bit of money or who trying to make something out of their life. Man, these females are no fucking good, man. I, I think the best shit to do, man, is stay to yourself, man, at the end of the day, man. Because they will try to lock you up and see you in jail or get you blamed, man. That's just how the situation is, man. You know what I'm saying? We see countless... We see countless, we see countless motherfucking um, times where they put up, it's out they get their brother, look at the, look at the Travis, the Travis Rudolph shit. They got that dumbass bitch got her brother to try to kick, to try to beat up and kill Travis Rudolph. He ended up popping them niggas and taking their lives. And all the bitch got, was, was got to say, she started smiling. All she got to say was, oh yeah, well, whoop the whoop, and she switched up the whole goddamn story. Bro, yo, people, he just, yo, you done got, you done sent your brother up to share with a couple of dudes who done got blammed and killed. And all y'all do is be laughing on some goofy ass shit. Females, that's why we can't take y'all serious, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, y'all wait, y'all wait for the black men to fall. Like, and then when, when, some, when any little thing, any little thing or something, y'all coming for the nigga neck, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. The Houston Rockets didn't even have enough evidence. They didn't have enough evidence. They traded that nigga. And now the OKC don't have not no evidence. They don't even know the nigga. And they finna release the nigga. Now he, now he, ain't, he ain't got no job. He ain't finna have no job. Because he gotta wait till the court, until the court, everything is done. Then he probably get on to another team. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just goes to show you, man. When you when you picking your relationship, man, you gotta pick wisely. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be um to, to not be in a relationship. It's okay to wait wait some years to be in a relationship because at the end of the day you pick the right you picking the right female. You can't just rush into these females into the relationship when you're making a lot of money. These girl these girls looking for the bag. You know what I'm saying? They're looking for any excuse to get pregnant, rape, um, beat up, anything, you know what I'm saying? They looking for any excuse to get a quick, easy bag, you know what I'm saying? Next time, oh, I, my reputation and how I am, I can't let it go down like this. Bitch, no, you just, you already did. He, you fucked up his life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that, that's what I was saying in the, in the motherfucking, in the video. You never know about these females. These girls will beat up their own self, get their own self abuse, they'll hit, they'll break their own back on some goofy ass shit and blame the nigga who didn't have nothing to do with it. The nigga who did it, surprise as fuck. You don't even know what the fuck going on. And then you got this nigga locked up, and then he denying every damn thing that, that's against him. That's wild, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, bro, all the people who try to bring the black man down on some goofy shit, like, yes, the shit, is, it, it wouldn't have been brought up if he wouldn't have been, like, with that female. But at the same time, you can't, you know, uh, people just don't notice when they get with this female, she gonna be the one to try to bring him down. You know what I'm saying? Who would have thought that? You know what I'm saying? So it's like you get with this female and you think like she might be the one. She cool ass bitch. And the whole time she crazy. Her mind is it's fucked. You know what I'm saying? She got like a pea brain in her mind. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? And it's crazy, man. It's like these girls, man, they be they so quick to say some 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 shit to get to get a nigga in trouble. Especially when they want position, money, and power. When a girl wants position, money, and power, they use their legs. The quickest to get some shit done. They use they open their legs and, and use that, or and, and, and use it. They'll use it against you or with you. You know what I'm saying? To for however, you know what I'm saying. That's why you know what I'm saying. When we can't jump off of these men 
when sexual assault or abuse or stupid goofy ass shit keep on popping up when it's countless times when the females is lying. That's what they do. They use the man's weakness to go against them. You know what I'm saying? So they use everything about, oh yeah, they're female. They so precious and so fucking small. So innocent. How could they dare hurt somebody? Bitch, the whole damn time they evil as hell. You know what I'm saying? Just because you cute and innocent don't mean I got them thing. You know what I'm saying? They got so many evil intentions. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they use that to go against, to use that to make the man think like, oh, I feel so sad for her because she is so fucking small. Kevin Porter like six four. She's like five, five, seven, five, eight. How can that even happen? Bro, shut your dumb ass up, you goofy ass niggas. If that, if that was my daughter, he just, she just, he deserved to be in jail. Man, shut up, nigga. What the fuck is we talking about, bro? It just sounds like some crazy shit, bro. Y'all don't even let the situation get already settled before y'all try to make shit to bring down a black man, bro. At least let the shit sit situate out, nigga. Don't even stand on the side. Just be like, man, okay, I understand what happened. And then you could put y'all, okay, I got a dart saw. You know, it kind of make me feel this way. But you could have put down in the middle until some shit came out. Then you could picking a sign to the commissioner to, to get that nigga, get rid of the nigga. He got rid of the nigga. Now what? You ruined this whole, y'all ruined this whole career off of some shit that the female is lying, bro. That's why you can't trust these females, man. This is to all the young men, man. It's okay to wait to get the right female, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes... The female's gonna it's gonna take a little bit longer to to pick the right female and not rush into what you, into these hoes who just gonna use you, you know what I'm saying? Cause these girls are easily manipulative. Chill, you know what I'm saying? And it's like your the, your people don't care because they just trying to get you to get married, but the whole time you think in your mind, like, bro, these females, they are they they would try to kill you. <laughs> they would set you up, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, they they haters. Females are haters too. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you trying to you trying to fight against the world. But you gotta fight against the um against the um other people. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's why I be like, man, this, this is how I rank the females in like in races and how I rank them. Um, black girls, I feel like they haters. Mexicans, I feel like they fake. The girls, and I feel like the white girls, they racist. You know what I'm saying? And it's so much shit that all. And I feel like, man. When you got a, a black girl who's a hater, man, she will use anything to try to bring you down. It's been multiple times when they try to backdoor you, you know what I'm saying? They hate seeing a black man with success, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like, man, that's why I'm willing to wait. I feel like, and to, for the right pick, a lot of these hoes be, it, for, my, for the black women anyway, I feel like they, they'll try to use anything to get your money or try to bring you down and get you set up. And that's just how I'm coming at it, man. The other races, that's how I feel about them, so that's just how I feel about them in general. But the, for the black women, I feel like y'all haters, man. I feel like it, and that's just how it is, man. Y'all, y'all get to a certain position. Y'all don't want the black man to come up. Y'all want to be on their next, and y'all want to, y'all want the black man to come at y'all as on some they ain't shit. Why y'all just think y'all up in y'all head, dome heads like this and that, bro? Y'all ain't shit. Like, like it's just goofy shit, man. It's like how can we come together when we having like these goofy ass problems like this? You know what I'm saying? So. Man, that's why I be like, man, you can't trust half the shit that these people be saying, man. So, hope y'all enjoyed these videos, man. Like and subscribe to the bitch and we out the bitch hood. And I'm sorry. Creep. Hey, Dad, you know that when we link up, dog, this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so. Hold that everywhere.